Hello everyone. Today in this video, I plan to teach you how to do a Stafford Gambit. So basically, we are going to do a Stafford Gambit as a black. So let's get started. Uh, in this video, uh, we can see how the traps in the Stafford Gambit. So actually, Stafford Gambit starts with the e4. If your opponent has a white, if, if your opponent has a white, only if they play e4, then only you can do a Stafford Gambit. Uh, let's take if your opponent plays d4 or f4 or knight f3 uh, white has many options here to play but if white plays e4 then only you can do a stafford game so you can learn the stafford gambit whenever white plays e4 you can give a try of stafford game because most of the white player are unaware of the unaware of the stafford gambit because stafford gambit uh, is most underrated gambit underrated gambit literally only few players in uh, few players in beginning uh, beginners and intermediate level knows it so if you learn stafford gambit as a beginner or intermediate at your level stafford gambit will be a uh, greatest weapon for you okay okay let's get started so e4 e5 knight f3 knight f6 so actually this line is called as Petrov defense. So Petrov in the Petrov defense, same uh, knight into e5. In Stafford Gambit also you do the same thing. But in the Petrov defense, uh, black will play d6. Instead of knight c6, black will play d6. Knight to f3, knight into e4, d3, knight f6. This is Petrov defense. But in this video, we are not going to see the traps in Petrov defense. But we are going to see the traps in Stafford Gambit. Actually, Stafford Gambit is a sideline in Petrov defense. So instead of here, we are playing d6. Instead of playing d6, here we are going to play knight c6. Knight c6, actually, this is one of the challenging moves. So we are directly going to challenge the knight on e5. We are directly going to challenge the knight on d e5 by playing knight to c6 after we play knight to c6 here white is tempted to capture the knight on c6 because e5 pawn is hanging so let's take if white plays knight to f3 they are losing the pawn on f3 if white plays knight f3 they are losing the pawn on f e4 so white should take the knight on c6 to protect the pawn on e4 so let's assume that if white plays knight into c6, if white plays knight into c6, they will successfully protect this pawn. But if white tries to protect this pawn, white will gonna lose this game as quickly as possible. So in this video, we can learn how to use Stafford Gambit as a weapon against the white if white plays e4. And eventually, by doing Stafford Gambit in a most successful way, we can easily win the game. Okay, after knight into c6, d into c6. After d into c6, here in this video we are gonna see only two lines okay so d3 let's take um, white plays d3 very logical move d3 is an extremely logical move by playing d3 you are opening the bishop's diagonal there is no problem with the d3 after d3 we are gonna play bishop to c5 bishop to c5 so here white have many variations white can let's take white can play bishop e3 bishop e2 sorry bishop e3 this bishop to e2 bishop d2 knight c3 white has plenty of moves here but in this video i'm gonna only teach you how to exploit bishop g5 because bishop g5 looks very good extremely good by playing bishop g5, what I am doing actually, I am pinning the knight on f6 with the queen. By playing bishop g5, I am pinning the knight on f6 with the queen. So here, uh, actually white thinks white position is very good. White is up a pawn. White uh, have successfully pinned the knight on f6. But white's position is so horrible. White's position is so horrible. So here, there is a trap. So this is the trap number one in Stafford Gambit. So we are learning the trap number one in Stafford Gambit when white plays d3 and bishop g5 in Stafford Gambit. If white plays bishop g5, 
blindly you can take the pawn on e4 knight into e4 because bishop g5 is a blunder they are gonna do another blunder they they are tempted to do the another blunder what they will do when you see the position like this free queen yay you will go for the free queen you will go for a free queen without realizing that you are gonna checkmate it in the next two moves so here black to play and checkmate into it's very simple so if you can't find the mate in two please pause the video and think for a while so that you can find the uh, variation for it if you do this consistently you can improve your middle games so if you uh, think uh, middle game tactics consistently you can improve the whole whole chess whole chess okay so after bishop into d8 bishop into f2 bishop takes f2 after bishop into f2 king e2 bishop g4 is a checkmate so this is the trap number one in stafford game okay i uh, i hope everyone enjoyed my video so if you like my video please uh, like uh, like share and subscribe so thank you